Gunshots are fired. A crime is committed. The suspect escapes. The evidence left behind could help bring the shooter to justice. Probably, that evidence will include one of the more than 200,000 shell cartridge cases retrieved each year at crime scenes in the U.S. To the trained staff of a forensics lab, a recovered case is like a ballistic fingerprint. That's because firing a gun leaves a unique pattern of marks impacted on the surface of the shell. Known as a case signature, this pattern can be compared to thousands stored in a national database. If there's a match, a forensics lab can identify the specific firearm used in the crime. That is, if they can prove the match is accurate so that the findings hold up in court. Thanks to the National Institute of Standards and Technology, that task just got a little easier. Crime laboratories are increasingly under pressure to show that they follow good standard practice to show accuracy in their examinations. Uh, in the firearms identification laboratories, uh, NIST has given them the opportunity to use a standard bullet about seven years ago. And now we've just rolled out the standard cartridge casing for them to use. The new NIST standard started its life when the agency acquired a cartridge case from the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. The case had distinctive examples of the three most important case signature markings. The firing pin impression, the breech face impression, and the ejector mark. To make identical copies of this case and its markings, NIST's forensic scientists turned to a technique known as electroforming. Similar to the method by which jewelers cover objects with silver or gold, electroforming was used to surround the template case with a thick metal coating. Once the coating solidified and the shell inside was removed, a nearly perfect negative mold was left behind. When I first received the replica casings, I compared them to the master casing they were produced from. And to my eyes, I could not tell any difference between the two. And that's because the mold is so accurate that it's able to pick up feature sizes a hundred times smaller than the width of a human hair. Along with producing the replica cartridge case, NIST and the ATF also captured its signature marks in digital images taken with the same type of microscope used to enter case signatures into the national database. For accuracy, a forensic lab can compare these golden images to ones they acquire of the NIST replica case. If they match, the staff can rest assured that their results will be in sync with all other forensic labs that use the standard. Together, the replica shell cases and the golden images combine to make a powerful crime-fighting tool, NIST Standard Reference Material 2461. For instance, let's say that there was a crime committed in California and there maybe was another crime committed in New York City and the examiners want to compare the evidence to see if there's a match between the two crimes. Uh, one way they can do this is by using a national database and correlate the images together. However, they need something to make sure that there is quality control and that the images were acquired correctly. And that's where the standard casing comes in. After all, NIST and its partners in law enforcement want to make certain that criminals who use guns don't get away with their crimes.